Okay. So this is the door that we didn't go to last time. Can we go this way? I don't know. Maybe it's a way that we could possibly open up later, but I don't know. Don't shoot. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Oh, okay. First of all, who are you? Let's hear. Who are you? What do you want? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. What are you talking about? I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assume. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can Ooh. Get again. Yes, please. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Tell me about your research first. What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers, to control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Silurian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. Okay, interesting. What do you mean, what kind of collateral damage are you referring to? What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Okay, so that is... That is weird. So, what's this sovereign si uh, signal? Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Huh. Well, what about Saren's interest? Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Yeah, okay, you're free. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, get out of here. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh. <laughs> so that's interesting. Because apparently Saren's also being affected too to an extent. Or maybe to a major extent. I don't know. Let me take out my gun just in case. That looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, when did my, when did he change his weapon? She has a Lancer 1. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch her to a rifle. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna switch her to a rifle. I do have another La Lancer, so let's give her a Lancer. And see if we can give her some rounds. So we'll give her incendiary, incendiary rounds. We'll also do... So those are all weaker. I will right, we'll give her, I guess, combat scanner. It only makes sense, right? And then what I'll do as well... I think I do want to keep him as a as a sniper.
He already has a pretty decent one. We'll give him Combat Scanner 2. Okay, so each... Uh... We'll do that. So let me go back to her because she can still use one more mod. We'll give her Kinetic Stabilizers. Yeah. That way we have a little bit of diversity in our weapons usage. Wait, my weapon's still only... Uh, yeah, okay, so... So I got Shredder Rounds. Let's give me that. And... That, okay. So this should be a little bit more effective in our weapons usage. Ashley, I still can't believe you killed Rex, man. I was trying to keep him alive. Commander, what is this? Over here. It's another beacon, like the one I need in Prime. Okay, we'll go over there in a second. Okay, yeah, we'll actually go there now. Another beacon, though. This could be bad. Is it gonna infiltrate my brain again? Ooh. I don't know what happened, to be honest. It's, ho it's so hard to see all the pictures, uh, how fast they go and everything, you know? So we're good. What's going on now? This is not good. You Just... are not Saren. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. Uh... You're alive? Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. And I don't stand alone. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Cannot be broken. Bet. Cycle? What, what cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Hold up, wait a minute. So you're saying you built them? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. 
By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. They're here to wipe us out. That's... That's insane. Uh... Why are you doing this? What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Okay, then so then who created you? Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. So it's God. I get it. Are there more of you? Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. Bet. I will stop you. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Oh my god, is it doing this? Commander, we got trouble. Uh, let's hear it. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. Uh oh. Things up in there fast. Yeah, maybe we should get out of here. Orders, Commander. Yeah, we've got what we need. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the new. Uh, yikes. So that is getting dangerous. Also, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Let's look at the map. That's a good map. <laughs> All right, hold up. Maybe we just need to get out of here. Uh, how? Get out of my way. All right, now let's look at the map. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so where am I supposed to go? I'm assuming it's just straight this time. Shepard must be nearing the target. Gentle, keep them here. Circle around. Yeah, you're doing good, Caden. Okay, yeah, this time we can go this way. Oh, the other side's closed. Yikes. Let me get behind cover before I die. Oh my god, bro, I cannot see. Okay, screw it. Get out of my dude, really? Happy birthday. Hopefully that kills him. It didn't. Get my cover. Get out of the way. not dead yet. He is now. Woo! We kicked ass right there, I'm not gonna lie. Very badly performed, but kicked their ass nonetheless. Their AI is definitely dated, though, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't expect better, though, since this is, you know, I guess still an old game. What is this? Decryption too low? Of course it is. Wait, what is this one? Firestorm. This is a shotgun. Shotgun. These are all shotguns. So I guess I'll take the Firestorm. I don't really know what the difference in shotguns are. I haven't used them. Don't really plan on it either, to be honest. I really like the assault rifles. Oh god, there's a sniper. Come 
come on. Well, I'm screwed. Ah! Get out of the way! Please die. Okay, one of them is almost dead. And I think that is gonna be me. Get him! Alright, one of them is dead. Maybe both, I don't know. There's still more of them. Ah! Did I just die? It literally just one shot me. Not really. Maybe I need to just focus on my, uh. On my health a little bit more. We should hopefully be good this time around. So they're both facing this way, so I think this is the way. Yep, alright. What's up, broski? Never saw it coming. The get the turn. Shepherd must be nearing the target. Janto, keep Perhaps. Circle around. Dude, Cade just sounds like a badass. Dude, that time they they got taken out pretty quickly. Come on. Can I? Did that actually get stuck on them? I don't think that actually does much damage. Let me see if I could change the thing that I have on here. Cryo, let's do incendiary. That way, hopefully, we are able to take them out. Because the, the mod that we had... Oh, God. The mod that I had on there before really wasn't cutting it, man. really wasn't doing anything to be honest is this where I died yeah I think this is where I died all right I'm still gonna get this loot though I think I only have one option though oh it's different stuff now light armor we'll take the equalizer I suppose decryption too low electronics still too low all right so we're golden I think Hold up. I wanted to get the drop. Come on. Ooh. We're doing gold in here. Sayonara, sucker. Oh no, he's healing. Not anymore. Alright, so this is where I died. I gotta be careful. Oh, snap! Woo! They fly so slow I can just get out of the way. It's pretty funny, actually. Oh, damn, dude. He just sniped him out of existence. Perfect. Too low. Upgrade kit. Sure, why not? Uh, I'll take incendiary. I mean, a tungsten, I guess. I wish I was able to read the description prior to picking up so I could make a better informed de uh, decision, you know? 
All right. Ooh. They are pretty good. Encryption too low. Oh, snap. One down. Get out of the way. Nice. Sounds like they're doing a good job out there. I think Caden's gonna be fine. Caden's a good, good person, a good leader, I guess. Aid station. Yep. Don't mind if I do. Two meta gel. That's the gun. We need to clear those gas and get the charge oh, set. Go. So they they've reached their destination. Oh snap. Nice, one down. Is that one dead? I think Garrus took him out pretty effectively, actually. The charges are set and ready. Everybody get low and keep your heads down. Dude, Caden is on fire. Okay. Alright! Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Roger. Okay, hold on. I don't know what just happened. I'm guessing this way? What is that sound? Oh! Okay. Good. It's just the Normandy. So is this the nuke? It looks like a little turtle or a ladybug actually. So Caden is not on the ship? Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? Uh yeah, I read you. The nuke is almost <laughs> ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. Oh, crap. We're taking heavy casualties. Captain Kira, he's dead. Oh, no. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Normandy, pick them up. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Oh, Commander. my God. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Good idea. Up to the AA tower. Move. Uh, dude, I'm like losing companions left and right. So, of course, I'm gonna take Garrus. Uh, I guess I'll take her. Yeah, let's go. Except now, I kind of have to do her points. Mine, too, actually. Let's do first aid for Garrus. Let's give him. Assault training. And she's got a ton. So, let's max out her armor. Absolutely. And first aid. Uh, so she's a pistol person, it seems. So let's see. Quarian machinist. Uh, though young, Tally is a true genius when it comes to dealing with mechanical or electronical equipment. Increases tech resistance, increases shield. Uh, maybe... I might actually go with that, but for now, I kind of want her to be maxed out in something. In terms of weapons. Alright. Let's max this out, and then we'll go the rest in here. Also... Okay, I think we're good here. Now we need to get into equipment. Sure. She only has a level one Lancer. I could give her a level five, uh, seven Lancer. Do I have anything to give her? Let's give her some plutonium rounds or put, put I don't know what the hell that's. Wait, no, she's a pistol user, isn't she? Yeah, she is a pistol user. So, okay, let's go to pistol. She's using a Kessler one. We'll keep her with something she's already used to. 
And we'll just upgrade this. Uh, and then... I guess a rail extension. And then... Kinetic stabilizer. Alright. So she is good to go. Let's actually make sure she has her... Weapon on. Okay, she already has it equipped. It. That's good. Hold on. So where am I going? Here? It's gotta be, right? What's up, bro? Happy birthday. Sayonara, sucker. Ooh. Garrus got taken out. He literally suicided himself with the bomb I threw at him. Oh no. Alright, I think we're good. Oh no, we're not good. Haha, he's dead. Dude, this guy's tough. She's, she's good at taking cover, though. Still not dead. I have to take him out. He's almost dead. Got him. Oh, hurry up and get up. I don't think you are. Alright, let's go. It says that he's got his health back, but... He's still taking a nap. Alright, bingo. Wait, do I have a do I have armor for her? I probably should do that, huh? Mmm. Sure. Uh armor. Do I have anything for her that's better than this? Crap. I don't think I've ever seen Corian, uh... I don't, I'm probably mispronouncing that. I don't think I've seen any of their armor in-game. Maybe I have, I don't know, but I, I don't remember. Alright, so I could open this one. Uh... Oh, this is even more powerful than what I gave her. It is. Nice. She's going to be even more unstoppable now. Uh oh. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here and it's bleeding gap all over the bomb site. How? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god, no. I have to choose one or the other. How bad is it? Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! <gasps> what? Hold on! What are you doing, Chief? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Oh my god! We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams! Oh no! Oh my god, I'm gonna have another companion die, aren't I? I mean, do I trust Caden? He seems sure. I'm so scared of this, this decision. I don't want another companion to die. So, Aiden is getting overran, but he seems sure that they can handle themselves. Ashley is for sure gonna die. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna trust Kaden. I'm gonna trust Kaden. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I. It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kaden. 
I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. He's gonna die. He's gonna freaking die. Oh my god, dude. I don't like this. I feel horrible. Pretty damn horrible, actually. I hope Caden doesn't die. Everybody get ready. Let's go. Alright, he's dead. Oh no, get behind cover. Come on. You're gonna die, bruh. Perfect. I need to get in there. Who are you shooting at? I know it's not me. You need to set the nuke and get out. We can't hold. Left Wait, first. Flank, left flank. Suppressing fire. Suppressing. Oh my god, dude. I think he just died. That's him. Oh snap. Oh my god, don't tell me he's immune. I applaud you, Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. You work for a Reaper. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? You're fooling yourself. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Nope. I don't. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. That's true. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, Think how many lives can be spared. Becoming Once slaves of this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. But it's not working, is it? You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. What about the Geth? Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove they're useful. We must work with the Reapers. What about the conduit? Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. 
Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. You already are indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. I can make him join me? That's interesting. How could you do this? You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, I must die. Sure. Oh my god, is this... Is this the Saren battle? What's up, broski? Okay, he's, he's pretty strong. Ah! I gotta take out some of these other guys. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Wake up! I need you. Get out of here, Saren! Oh, snap! What just happened? Oh, he's angry. Uh-oh. He's gonna escape, isn't he? At least, at least she made it. But I hate to say it, but I think Caden is dead. Hell yeah, fireman's carry, baby. Let's go. All right, everybody, hang on. Please tell me Kaden is on the ship. I I can't believe Kaden didn't make it. Oh my just god. Leave him down there. That breaks my heart. Dude, I had two companions die. Two. Rex and now Kaden. He was a good soldier. Alenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. Dude, don't blame yourself, man. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. Oh, my heart is so broken. We have to go on. Elenko's dead. We can't change that. But if we don't stop Saren, his sacrifice was made in vain. Agreed. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Do it! You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Let's see what she's got to say about this one. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. That looks creepy. It really does. Incredible. I 
I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. All right, what did you see? Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call, a message sent out across the Prothean Empire, a warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. Wait a minute, anything else? What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos, the conduit is on Ilos. That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. Uh, wait, you never mentioned this before? How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. Only now do I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. Alright, well, let's go. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. We have no choice. The conduits on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. Bet. You must alert the council. We need a fleet to... Oh. You need I'm to go sorry. get some rest. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Are you okay? Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Alright, go ahead. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Yeah, uh, do it. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Yeah, but... With all the dangers, I also discovered that Saren's not in charge. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign. A sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. It is accurate. I talked to him. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Hold on, you tell me you need proof? Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. I've been right about everything! We cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the specters. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. They're low-key giving us... From all of us. Low-key, they're giving us the green light to proceed forward. Oh, let me see the journal. Uh, Race Against Time Sovereign. You've discovered that the real enemy is not Saren, but a Reaper called Sovereign, a sapient warship of tremendous power. Sovereign is using Saren as a tool to find the conduit, the key to unleash unleashing a new Reaper invasion on the galaxy. Uh, find the conduit. Uh, you need to explore Pharos, Novaria, and Artemis Tau cluster and Vermeer to find the clues. That will lead you to the conduit before Saren. So I already did that. Report to the council. Report to the council to warn them of so uh, Ser Sovereign's plan to attack the Citadel. Wait, can I just... Can I activate this? I guess not. Let me go talk to Joker and see if I can activate that thing again. 
Because if I can talk to them again, I will. Because it says that I got to report to the council. For some reason, it wasn't. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. No, it Even definitely wasn't. Between Alenko and Williams must have been. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. I, I, I didn't have a choice. Like, literally. I had to, I literally had to choose between one or the other. There was no other choice. The mission is more important than one soldier. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just, I mean, it's hard, you know? Are you all right? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. No, hold on, I'm not done with you. I need- I'll be okay, Commander. Damn it. Look outside. I can look outside. Oh well, never mind. It's just a codex. Is that? Yeah, that's just more codex stuff here. Codex. I don't know why I'm collecting all this, but I'm doing it anyways. Okay. Navigator. I don't think I need to talk to the navigator, or do I? I don't know. Let's try it one more time. I feel horrible. I legitimately feel horrible. Okay, so let's read the journal again because it says report to the council to warn them. I'm assuming that means I have to go to the Citadel. Alright, let's go to the Citadel.